All right, well, welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, as promised, we're going to be taking a look at this. It's a, a cover for the utility box uh, project we did uh, in the last episode. And what this does is uh, actually receives or sits on top of two 110 outlets. Uh, it has um, tapered holes for the screws that go into the plugs. Um, I used the number six in the project that, that I built this with. However, I want to take just some quick a quick look at the code and take you through it. So the code for this was rather interesting because these guys, these these sort of oblong pieces, are a little bit interesting shape. I had a little bit difficult time trying to figure this out. And so what we're actually doing is each one of these are three pieces. It's a circle and it's two cubes. So what I want to do is just um, go over here and actually. Uh, break one of these down so again if we were to so we create the outer cube of the plate and then one of the things we added a brim here as you can see on the underside I'll talk about that in a minute but before we do is I want to talk about the outlet so we first start by creating a round outlet and I'll show you this so you can kind of see the hole and then you can kind of, you can see how we've nipped off a portion of that so let's go back and let's clear this guy out and then let's go and then if we look at these next two pieces I'm just gonna pop in percent signs here so we make them stand out so we can see um, whoops I think I've got uh, got that piece wrong see around end module where did I put those guys? So template cylinder round outlet um, difference. Oh, here's where I put it. Sorry, I created a, a, a actual module to do that. So here's what we do: is we create the cylinder, and then we translate the plates, um, the cubes. Sorry. So if I do this, so you can kind of see now that this guy is now whoops if I get a percent instead of a dollar see you can see now because I've called I, I call them all as a module so all four and you can see how we've nipped this out and it's important to nip this out because as you see it actually encroaches on the screw mount here so you can kind of see how they go together and there's also two sets of these and if I, again if I hit the right one so you see how that goes together and how that that creates that um, sort of oblong shape if you will so let's take that out outside of that you know it wasn't too bad in coding this but one of the things the the dimensions in between here and here and these screws and their separation both in X and Y were rather difficult to come up with there's a lot of measurements on the internet for this plate but it was actually difficult getting true center on center because I could get center on center in X but really not Y so anyway sort of long story short I had to go through some trial and error and I'm actually going to put out a video that covers how I did a mock-up of this in 2d to kind of help me figure out the location of things however anyways I think enough said in the code and we'll post the code on the website and that'll be down below and I think I've shared a lot of the key points of the code so let's go ahead let's jump over to the printer let's watch a quick time lapse of this printout and then we'll go back to the bench and take a closer look at it so over to the printer. We Welcome back. In OpenSCAD, we took a look at how we designed this cover. We saw a bit of a time lapse of it printing and how it came out. And, and in general, it came out pretty good. A couple, couple, I think, challenges in the model that we're going to have to take a look at is it's supposed to have a uniform width around here. And I think I might have flip-flopped a uh, height and, and, and um, width. 
because this these pieces are thicker than the side pieces. So I'm going to have to go back in the model and take a look at that and correct that. But everything else seems to have worked out okay, other than the, this berming that I put around here. I also set this to about four millimeters thick, um, which I think is pretty good. I might thin it down to about three, so the plugs are a little bit proud. Um, so I've tapered these. I think I'm going to taper these a little bit more. Uh, they're not bad. I think, you know, for this purpose, it, it'll definitely work. And then, you know, when we um, join it to the, the plugs, uh, it actually snaps on. I can't really get it, keep it in frame and snap on. There we go. So you see that they're, they're just short of being proud, so about a half a millimeter or so less. But I mean, this this will this will work for this application, no problem. And it makes a nice fit around the the box itself, so it goes very well. So pretty happy with this turned out. A couple little challenges, but that that's one of the things you know in prototyping you're going to run into. So, uh, anyways, I'll fix this and I'll have the code up on the website and so you know the link for the code will be below so you can head out there get this um, you can change it up if you want so anyways if you found uh, this build interesting hey give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel a lot more open SKF projects coming and we'll see you in the next video cheers